working around the Supreme Court decision. That's essentially the message from the governor as we anticipate that the court will overturn the FDA approval of the abortion pill Mifepristone. And our political reporter, Morgan Reiner, just wrapped up at a press conference with the governor where she got to ask several questions. What's the news from this, Morgan? Devin and Luke, we didn't get the news in the press conference itself. The governor and a handful of other lawmakers spoke for 40, 45 minutes about how they are here for California, what they're doing to protect abortion in the state, and that abortion is very much so legal here. It wasn't until after the press conference wrapped up that the governor's office spoke to the remaining reporters in the room and said the governor plans on working with lawmakers to pass a bill that would essentially protect protect those pharmacists from persecution if they were to dispense the abortion pill that would then be you know illegal under the ruling from the Supreme Court but I do want to point out here that this bill would essentially say California is not going to take away their license but here is the thing federal law typically takes precedent over state law and so as journalists it's our job to demand answers from the governor's office and so we ended up having a whole second press briefing with the governor's office where we got to ask about the legality of this and that's when we were told that yes technically FBI agents can come in and raid pharmacies if they want to but they don't believe that would be the case at all they likened it to what happens here with marijuana you know not legal on the federal level but you don't have FBI agents coming in and raiding here in California. Now, I want to point out that all of this is very new. It's all in the preliminary stages. We don't even have the ruling from the Supreme Court yet. So we expect to get more answers on the legality of this and how it will all work after that ruling tomorrow. The governor's press office telling the reporters that the governor should be available for more questions later on in the week. All right. Thank you. That was our Morgan Reiner reporting. We'll also continue to keep you updated on this very important topic as things develop.